Hello, I'm Cash Hussain, your Safer Neighbourhood Team Inspector for Will and Hatfield. The Will and Hatfield Safer Neighbourhood Team is split into three areas, which some of you may know. Uh, and every three months, using your feedback, we set out three priorities to focus on in each area. To achieve a safer Will and Hatfield, we work as part of the Will and Hatfield CSP, and that stands for Community Safety Partnership. And it's a network of local bodies such as council, housing associations and schools uh, and similar bodies to work together to make your area safer. Over the last few months, my offices and the Safer Neighbourhood team have been working very hard to keep you safe in this unprecedented time. In addition to increasing patrols, conducting more traffic operations and supporting the most vulnerable in our society through this difficult time, I wanted to talk to you about what we've done in the previous neighbourhood priorities in your area. In Welling North area, you told us you wanted us to focus on cycle thefts in Welling Garden City Town Centre. As a result, we launched an operation to focus on just that. Some of you might have received a high visibility seat cover on your bicycle when you left it and you went to work and your daily business. And some of you may have taken part in one of our many cycle marking events uh, conducted in conjunction with Bike Register. Um, we also increase signage and our patrols in those hard hit areas. As a result, we've achieved a 50% reduction of bike thefts compared to the same time last year prior to the COVID lockdown. You also told us you want us to focus on youth antisocial behaviour in Welling Garden City Town Centre. As a result of that, we conducted Operation Brillo, which is an increased patrols using Section 35 dispersal orders in the town centre. As a result, a youth injunction was granted for the most prolific of those offenders from that group, and we saw a knock-on effect to the rest of the group. Um, this was a council-led injunction supported by the Willen Hatfield North Safer Neighbourhood team, uh, achieved by partnership working with our council colleagues, and that's how the CSP works. It was also the first injunction of its type in Hertfordshire. Overall, this achieved a 17% reduction in ASB prior to the COVID lockdown, something we will continue to work on going forward. Finally, India, for your area in the north, you also wanted us to focus on burglary and motor vehicle crime in the Hanside area. We responded and increased our patrols area and the proactive checks on properties and vehicles. Any vulnerable properties that we noticed were given advice or visited and provided crime prevention and targeting advice. Prolific offenders for that crime in that area were targeted and any offences immediately progressed in order to deal with the offender and return them to custody at the soonest opportunity. From October the 1st, 2019 to the 16th of June, 2020, there have been seven dwelling burglaries in the area and eight theft from motor vehicle offences. In contrast, the year before, for the same period, there were 10 burglaries and 34 theft from motor vehicles, so a huge reduction for the North area. In the South, you asked us to focus on speeding in Cuffley. We held a series of speed of fair awareness sessions, both with speed indicating devices and enforceable cameras to reduce speeding in roads identified to us by you using Echo and social media. You may have seen our operations on social media to highlight we're taking this action. Firstly, to educate those who have driven a little close to the mark, and secondly, to take enforcement action on those who disregard speed limits and safety. These operations will continue in various parts of the CSP. In Brooklyn's Park, you wanted us to focus on antisocial behaviour, and as a result of this, we increased our high visibility presence in the Bradmore Green area, and you may have seen us report and work on this social media. We know lockdown may have made it difficult for you to see us out on patrol, but we tried to post as much of our work on social media to reassure you that our policing priorities continue regardless of the lockdown. And we will continue to increase our patrol in this area going forward. And finally, in the south, you reported concerns in relation to drug dealing in the Howlands area. As a direct result, we worked with our proactive Scorpion units and where we received intelligence from the community, from yourselves, we conducted enforcement warrants. This resulted in a successful closure of orders addresses causing the most concern in your locality and I'd encourage you to continue sharing that information over concerns and suspicious activity in your area. And finally, in the West, you told us you were concerned about alcohol misuse and street drinking in Hatfield Town Centre causing antisocial behaviour. Working with the council, we ensured the public space protection order, you may have seen signs PSPO, was acted on. We targeted repeat offenders were issued community protection warning notices 
and arrested those who continued to behave in this manner, to such an extent that one repeat offender refused to return to Hatfield and moved out of the county after being repeatedly challenged by our safer neighbourhood officers. And we will work with our partners to ensure this work and this message is kept up. Finally, in the West, you wanted to focus on drugs issues in Mosquito Way and the Aviation Avenue area. In this time, despite the unprecedented demand, we have conducted several warrants arresting offenders on suspicion of possession with intent to supply drugs. We continue to rely on you, our community, to share information with us to help us continue to take enforcement action on those who commit crime within your community and our CSP. And finally, I want to thank all of you who use our ECHO Force feedback system to tell us what you want us to focus on in the next few months. We have reviewed these and you'll be able to see our new priorities in communications from my Safer Neighbourhood Team sergeants on our social media. I also want to thank the vast majority of the community who have followed government guidelines and done their part to ensure we all stay safe. Myself and my colleagues in the Safer Neighbourhood Team will continue to work with our partners within our CSP to make sure Will and Hatfield is a safe place to live and work. Please keep watching our social media where we share lots of information about what we're doing and what's going on and what's happening in your area where you can communicate with us and also using our echo feedback system. Thank you and stay safe.